Tesla is currently in the process of developing a new $25,000 electric car, aiming to achieve a cost half that of previous generation vehicles like the Model 3 and Model Y. Earlier this year, Elon Musk unveiled plans to manufacture tens of millions of these cars, starting with an innovative new approach that significantly speeds up the manufacturing process. Tesla refers to this method as the unboxed process, which involves creating large subassemblies. This approach offers the advantage of allowing multiple workers and robots to simultaneously focus on these relatively smaller parts. The final step involves combining these modular parts to assemble the vehicle. This represents a departure from traditional assembly line methods, which typically follow a linear path and have remained largely unchanged for over a century since Henry Ford popularized them. However, a report from Reuters has revealed Tesla's quiet pursuit of a groundbreaking next-generation technology, Gigacasting 2.0. This technology differs slightly from what was initially showcased to the public in March of last year. The 16,000-ton Gigapress is expected to be utilized for creating the single casting for either the Model 2 or Compact car, although the specific details remain unknown to outsiders unless they are present within the Tesla factory and privy to such information. These Gigacasting machines provide Tesla with a significant competitive edge in manufacturing, which is often the most challenging aspect of achieving large-scale production for products like cars. Elon Musk has emphasized this point on multiple occasions, highlighting Tesla's continued acquisition of these gigapresses. These machines are massive feats of engineering, requiring an astonishing 120 days for assembly and commissioning before they can be put to use. For some time now, Tesla has incorporated large giga castings into the front and rear underbody of its Model 3 and Y vehicles. These castings are produced using custom-designed gigapresses, which exert forces ranging from 6,000 to 9,000 tons, manufactured by the company IDRA with additional specifications from Tesla. The 9,000-ton gigapress, one of the largest known to be acquired by Tesla, is intended for casting parts for the Cybertruck. Given that the Cybertruck employs an exoskeleton design, placing structural elements on the vehicle's exterior rather than within an internal chases like traditional cars. Tesla has had to completely reconsider the design process for this innovative pickup truck. This undertaking has offered Tesla valuable insights that could potentially be applied to their existing chassis-based vehicles, such as the Model 3 and Y. However, Tesla's strategy differs by capitalizing on the insights gained from the Cybertruck and establishing a completely new, more efficient platform for developing the upcoming $25,000 vehicle. This will be achieved through the implementation of the unbox process inspired by the innovations introduced with the Cybertruck. Tesla aims to utilize this exceptionally large casting machine to manufacture the entire underbody of their smaller $25,000 vehicle as a single piece. This feasibility stems in part from the Cybertruck's large castings, which given the vehicle's size offer techniques that Tesla can adapt for the compact car's underbody. Tesla possesses a patent for an expansive multi-directional casting machine purported to manufacture the entire vehicle in one go, showcasing their inclination to consolidate more components into a single casting. However, for the underbody of a smaller car, a conventional unidirectional gigapress, similar to the one utilized for the larger Cybertruck, would likely suffice. As reported by Reuters, this innovation could enable the next generation vehicle to integrate up to 400 parts into a single casting. While this information may be speculative, Reuters' track record of accuracy lends credence to the possibility. They initially reported on the Model 3 Highland project about 10 months ahead of its official unveiling. Now they claim to have five sources verifying Gigacasting 2.0. However, Tesla retains the ability to alter their, their plans or design approaches needed in the future. This development could have significant implications for Tesla, propelling them to further disrupt traditional automakers, particularly as their current gigacasting left automakers, who have not innovated in decades, scrambling to keep pace. The substantial cost savings and enhanced efficiency facilitated by the Gigapress's capability to manufacture single parts, thus reducing the need for extensive factory robots, have rendered Tesla's electric vehicles highly competitive in the market. Meanwhile, competitors struggle to achieve profitability. However, this new Gigacasting 2.0 may deviate from or even contradict the innovative unbox process that Tesla unveiled to the public during Investor Day in March of last year. The unbox process revealed that the front and rear castings for the next generation vehicle 
were situated in distinct modules or stations, undergoing independent work during the vehicle's assembly. The primary objective is to enhance operator density by reducing the perceived surface area of each major component. This enables workers to achieve improved access and efficiency when working on individual parts compared to if they were combined early in the assembly process. Therefore, it remains uncertain how Tesla would reconcile this approach if a single ultra-large casting merging the front, rear, and battery sections compels a return to a less dense setup for operators. Such a shift would fundamentally alter the vehicle's construction process. Additionally, the focal point of this extensive casting would be the structural battery pack, while consolidating it into a single casting could enhance structure and support. It might significantly hinder workers and robots access to the battery pack. This component is intricate in its own right, and incorporating it into a unified casting could complicate matters further by necessitating work around the attached front and rear underbodies, which are still substantial and unwieldy components. It appears that Tesla sought to circumvent this issue by segregating these components, allowing for parallel work. However, advancements in gigacasting casting technology seem to be compelling them to reunify the pieces and, consequently, the processes. As reported by Reuters, the demonstration Tesla presented last March remains speculative, and the company may exhibit flexibility in its plans due to the emergence of new technology, possibly not revealing the entirety of their ongoing work. It's pertinent to highlight that the presentation showcased a Model Y, rather than the actual upcoming vehicle under development. Sources suggest that Tesla may opt for the die casting method for the platform in the upcoming months. Nevertheless, even if they pursue this strategy, the final product could undergo alterations during the design validation phase. This is also where another die casting advancement, which Tesla has been actively developing, becomes relevant. Creating a large metal mold can entail costs of up to $1.5 million, with multiple iterations and adjustments typically necessary during the prototyping and testing stage, incurring significant expenses. The complete design process for a single large mold could reach up to $4 million, making it prohibitively expensive, particularly as Tesla aims for larger molds. This expense is a significant reason why other automakers have avoided utilizing this costly method, despite its potential for producing more efficient parts. Nevertheless, Elon Musk has steered the company in this direction despite the considerable risk, seeking to achieve substantial cost reductions and driving the development of innovative new processes. Tesla has collaborated with design and casting experts from various countries, including the United States, Japan, Germany, and Britain, who have embraced 3D printing using industrial sand. The sand is layered by 3D D printers, with a binding agent applied in each pass to provide structure and shape to the mold. This approach is innovative for creating large molds and offers notable advantages. Compared to using an equivalent metal alloy, 3D printers can construct molds rapidly at just 3% of the cost. Additionally, they enable the creation of intricate parts by integrating hollow elements using sand cores, which can be removed after the casting process. Moreover, all the sand used can be fully recycled and reused. Although traditional metal molds are still utilized for the actual production process, this sand casting method necessitates a different type of alloy. However, Tesla can employ this technique to explore the production of lighter subframes with hollow sections that enhance crashworthiness. The sand cores play a crucial role in rapid prototyping, significantly reducing both mold design cost and the timeline from 6 to 12 months down to just 2 to 3 months. Nonetheless, there are significant challenges associated with this approach for the new $25,000 compact car that Tesla aims to produce. Casting the entire underbody could necessitate a new, much larger type of gigapress, one with clamping strength potentially exceeding 16,000 tons. This represents unexplored territory for Tesla, although the company has gained ongoing expertise from utilizing progressively larger gigapresses, most recently a 9,000-ton press for the Cybertruck. However, with with a 16,000-ton press, such high pressure and clamping power may hinder the use of sand cores for the hollow subframes. Alternatively, Tesla has the option to transition to a slower injection method that accommodates sand cores, promising higher quality results. Nonetheless, as the name implies, the slow injection process could significantly prolong the production timeline. Ideally, Tesla is seeking a solution that merges the speed and productivity advantages of a high-pressure Giga press with the quality and flexibility offered by sand cores in the slow injection process. Currently, achieving both simultaneously presents a challenge, and Tesla is in the process of deliberating between these two methods.
Nonetheless, potential future breakthroughs, particularly in the development of new alloys, might pave the way for a hybrid approach that combines the strengths of both techniques. Therefore, the adoption of an ultra-large gigacasting method presents several challenges but holds the potential to revolutionize the vehicle manufacturing process. With this innovative design approach, Tesla could fabricate a car from scratch in as little as 18 to 24 months, a significant improvement over the three to four years typically required by competitors. Furthermore, Tesla could reduce its factory footprint and expedite the car production process depending on the chosen methodology. Additionally, the shift toward a single, albeit more expensive, machine as opposed to multiple presses combined with robotic welding would result in reduced capital expenditure and greater output efficiency per unit cost. However, crucial engineering decisions are yet to be finalized, such as whether to pursue a single large casting or utilize continuous smaller modular components, and whether to utilize higher pressure or slow injection methods involving sand cores. These pivotal choices will be determined in the upcoming months as Tesla gears up for the production of its $25,000 car commencing at Giga Texas. So which casting method do you believe Tesla should adopt? And what are your reasons? Will this new large Giga casting disrupt Tesla's innovative unbox process? Or do you envision a middle ground that they could opt for? Thanks for watching. Until next time.